What's up guys, Rand Eraser here with another tech video for you guys today and today we are going to check out the Otterbox Strata series case for the all new iPhone 14 series. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open, slap it on the iPhone and give you guys my quick in depth review. So the Autobox Strata case has made a return once again for the iPhone this year. Unlike some of the other Autobox cases, however, the Strata case did take a slight redesign. So it remains largely the same. The newest thing that they did this year though is this inclusion of an actual magnetic flap. So last year they had like a little magnet that was built into the case that held it in place. But this year they decided to put an actual flap on it, which I think looks pretty nice very easy to use and makes it easier to flip the flap open and close. So take a closer look at the Autobox Strata case. This is Autobox's answer to what a proper folio style case should be. You get full size case protection with the addition of a very thin minimalistic flap. The case portion here is made of a mix of materials with soft TPU bezeled sides and a harder plastic material for the backing on top of that with the leather. Protection wise, I would say it's very comparable to the Autobox Symmetry case. However, unlike the Symmetry case, you do have the added additional protection for the front screen. So here is my iPhone 14 Pro Max. The Strata case is available in a few different color options. I obviously chose black to match my space black iPhone. We will go volume button side first, and it should just slide into place. So it's a pretty easy installation. All right, so let's take a closer look at the Strata case. First off, we do have this genuine leather material that wraps around the entire front flap, all the way around the sides, and into the back area. The leather itself is stitched very nicely around the edges, goes all the way around the borders. And even the strap itself is made of the same leather material, stitched all the way around, and you got this very nice Autobox silver emblem. On the top of the flap, you can see there is a little cutout for the earphone so that you can still answer and make calls without having to open the flap open. On the inside of the flap, we do have this grayish microfiber lined interior, along with two card slots for quick access cards. For those of you worrying about volume control with a flap body, you can see Autobox did put a couple indentations on the side of the case here to show you where the volume rockers are and you can still press them even with the leather flap on. Moving on towards the case portion here you can see you do have a tempered glass screen protector on here the case does not interfere with it and of course the flap does still close even with a glass screen protector on it. We also have covers for the volume rockers, a little cutout here for the vibrate and ringer switch and a cover for the power button as well and all the button covers do still work. Nice tactile feedback, very little effort to actuate them. The soft TPU material does wrap around the entire border of the iPhone and just above my glass screen protector for added protection. And if you're wondering what this little indentation here is for, it basically gives you a little bit of extra space for your finger to fit in so that you can pop the flap open. And last couple things, we do have three individual cutouts for the stereo speakers, mic and lightning port. And lastly, on the back, we do have that leather that extends all the way around the back as well. A precision cutout for the triple lens camera module. And as you guys can see here, my lens protector that I have on here isn't affected by the case. And I almost forgot, removing this case is also very easy thanks to its hybrid design. So I usually go bottom corner, pop that out, pop this piece out, and the phone comes out easily like so. Overall guys, what do I think about the Otterbox Strata case for the new iPhone? First off, I do like this new edition of this flap here. I think last year's model was like a magnetic class, so it was basically just built on the side of the case. And I found it made it difficult to open and close the actual flap. Uh, this additional little flap here certainly makes it look a little bit nicer as well as provide a better way of opening the flap without having that magnet built into the side. Now, I've always been a big fan of the Strata case because it's a nice looking case. I mean, for a folio style case, you think they're chunky and ugly looking, but this one here, they managed to do it by combining a traditional full sized case with a very slim minimalistic flap that doesn't add a whole lot of extra bulk to the case. So that's the main thing I like about the uh, Strata case is that it's a proper folio style case that looks nice and doesn't make your phone look any more chunkier than it already has with the case on. 
The biggest con for me though is that the Strahd case does lack MagSafe. It still can wireless charge, but unfortunately there is no magnetic ring around it to take advantage of MagSafe accessories. In conclusion guys, if you're in the market for a folio style case and you want something that's ultra protective yet still minimalistic at the same time, you definitely can't go wrong with the OtterBox Strata case. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and your questions or comments about the OtterBox Strata case. Let me know in the comments section there down below. Hit that like button as always helps me out and I'll see you on the next video.